A great way to keep customers updated with information about your store or your products is with an announcement bar. Adding an announcement bar to your Shopify store is a great way to highlight important information, like any promotions you may be offering, store updates, shipping delays, or anything else you may want to notify your customers about. On Shopify, you have the ability to create several announcements and even have your announcement bar auto-rotate. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add an announcement bar to your online store. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. To customize your theme, let's start by clicking the online store tab from the menu on the left hand side. This should take you to the Shopify themes menu. For this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Dawn theme. So to customize my theme, let's look at the bottom right hand side here and click the Customize button. This will take you over to the Shopify theme editor. By default, the announcement bar should already be in the header section on the Dawn theme, but if it's not, or if you're customizing a different theme, you can add the announcement bar by clicking the Add Section tab here. But since the announcement bar is already available here by default, Let's click the arrow icon here to open up the drop down menu and view the various tabs. When you open up the announcement bar drop down menu, you can view the various announcements that you currently have enabled. By default, I have an announcement here that says welcome to our store. If I click the announcement tab, it'll take me to a menu where I can edit the announcement text and add a link if I like as well. For my text, let's change it to welcome to quantum design shop. And keep in mind that each time you make an update, you should be able to view it in the preview on the right hand side as well. If you wanted to add a link to your announcement, you can click the link tab and select from your collections, your products, and other pages here that you can send your customers to. But for my welcome announcement, I'm not going to add a link, so let's just leave this blank. Now that I've added my first announcement, let's click the back button here to go back to the main menu. On your theme, you can only have one announcement bar, but you can actually have up to 12 different announcements. If you want it to display multiple announcements, you can add another one by clicking the Add Announcement tab here. Another announcement tab should then appear in your announcement bar section. And just like before, we can select the new announcement and open up the menu to change the text. For this example, let's make an announcement to have customers visit my apparel collection. And since I want customers to go to a specific place, let's add a link as well. When you click the link field here, it'll open up a drop down menu where you can select where you want to send your customers to. You can add a link to send customers to view your collections, specific products, pages, blogs, or anywhere else in your store. Since my announcement is inviting shoppers to view my apparel collection, let's click the collections tab here. This will open up another drop down menu where I can view all the collections that I currently have in my store. From here, let's select my clothing and apparel collection. Now that I've added a link, whenever a customer clicks my announcement, they'll be taken directly to my clothing and apparel collection. So let's click the back button and go back to the theme main menu. So I now have two announcements for my online store. From the theme preview on the right, I can check out my announcements up top and make sure everything looks correct. I have my welcome message and an announcement to send shoppers to my clothing and apparel collection. So we've gone over how to add new announcements to your online store, but now let's go over how to customize the announcement bar itself. From the menu on the left, if I click the announcement bar main header, it'll open up a menu where I can adjust the announcement bar style and settings. At the top here, you can change the color scheme of your announcement bar. You can click the change button here to view pre-made color schemes that you can select from, but in order to get everything exactly right, I recommend clicking the edit tab here. From here, You'll be able to edit your color scheme and select the correct colors for your background, your text, your button, and other available elements. When changing colors, fonts, or anything else on your theme, make sure you keep branding in mind. You want to make sure everything complements each other and matches your brand style. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the X here to close the color scheme menu. So let's see what other customization options we have here. If you have several announcements in your online store, you can use the option here to have them auto rotate. They even have a slider bar where you can select the number of seconds you want your announcement to be displayed before auto rotating. If you like, you can also select your country or region and your language. And if you open up the theme settings drop down menu, you'll see various fields where you can add your social media brand pages. Feel free to go ahead and add links to any brand pages that you currently have. 
Once you've added your brand pages, you can actually select to display them in your announcement bar. If we go back to the menu here and scroll up to the social media icon section, you'll see a checkbox that you can select to display your social media icons. Since I added my YouTube channel to the theme settings, I can now see the YouTube icon at the top left of my announcement. Feel free to adjust other settings here if you like, but for my announcement, I'm just going to roll with this. And my online store now has a professional announcement bar that customers can view. So that's a quick overview of how to customize an announcement bar for your Shopify store. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Don theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.